so students today we will have the experiment of ph metric titration for determination of strength of a given hcl solution against a standard noh solution as you can see over here in the whiteboard it's written uh, at the top and now the underlying principle for this one is when an alkaline solution of a strong base here we will take sodium hydroxide as a strong base is added slowly to a solution of strong acid uh, we will take HCl as a strong acid here then the pH of the solution increases progressively with each drop of addition since both strong acid and strong base are completely dissociated in solution the solution at the end point will be neutral and have a pH of 7 the end point can be detected when abrupt change in pH of the solution is recorded. After the end point of the titration, the pH graph flattens out with addition of more alkali. Now you can see over here the schematic presentation of the graph as you can see over here. In the y axis we put the pH of the uh, solution and in the x axis we will uh, put the drops of alkali that has been added to the HCl solution. So we will have the curve like this one and we have to calculate the midpoint of the st strip curve and from there we have to draw a line to the x-axis that will give us the number of drops of alkali that has been added to the solution and from there we will calculate the pH of unknown HCl solution. So for this one uh, you, now you can see over here these are the necessary apparatus and the reagents so in apparatus as the experiment is pH metric titration we need pH meter with electrode burette pipette conical flask and beaker and the reagents should be buffer solution of pH 4 and 9.2 for uh, for uh, the calibration of the electrode and the pH for the pH meter and we need hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide and from there uh, we will know the working principle already we know that that V1 S1 and equal to V2 S2 so here for our experiment we know we will know the V1 that is the solution of HCl that we will take and uh, we know the volume of NOH which we will find out from the Bourette reading and we already prepared the n by 10 given NOH solution so we have to find out the strength of NOH uh, sorry we have to find out the strength of HCl rather uh, from the mixture okay so this is the working principle now moving to the working procedure how it will work so this is the uh, observation table uh, where the pH metric titration of the HCl solution against the NOH will be done and the number of experiments you can see in the left hand side of the table uh, there are several number of experiments and then in the second column this is volume of HCl taken uh, which will be standard uh, for our case we will take 30 ml of HCl and then drops of NaCl added NACL, sorry, drop top NOH added and uh, from there we calculate each time what will be the pH of the solution and uh, when the sharp rise in the peak will come we will understand the equivalent point is there that is the neutralization has been done so this is the normal working procedure for the uh, experiment <laughs>